When this was brought up to you, how did you feel about green lighting this and producing? Well, I told Guillermo, I just feel like we've seen this so many times before <laughs> that couldn't you come up with something a little more original? <laughs> Put it back in the oven for a while is what I suggested. Uh, no, you, I mean, you hear about that and you say, yeah, let's do that. Um, you know, not, not because he's a fish. Or this, I mean, you know, he filled me in on the whole Julie Adams and, you know, his first boner as a six-year-old. Uh, no, no, it know, didn't happen. It was physically it, it impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he 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 he, he reran it a few years later as well, but um, you know it was that idea that um, you know based on his experience being you know from the outside and even though you're an Oscar nom nominated filmmaker you get pulled aside at the you know the by the TSA you know uh, you know those outsiders so you know we see you know, Camelot, which was apparently a great time if you're a white guy. 1962, yeah. In 1963, but not if you're a black woman, and not if you're a gay man who can't tell anybody, and not if you're... No, it's about today. Yeah, it's... It's 62 it, because to, the, we have the same problems than we had back then. So it all, you know, resonated when you read it and you think about it, and you say, okay, and, and uh, you know, the fairy tales, which were you know, allegories and parables in those times to, 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 you know, work those kinds of things out. You say, okay, yeah, this is the kind of story that needs to be told because all those outsiders and those three characters that are all those people that don't have a voice, I mean, she literally didn't have a voice, and they all got their voice. And, you know, I mean, now we see, I mean, in Hollywood right now, I mean, the, the you know, women finding their collective voice with this crazy shit that's going on, and, and it's amazing. So I, I just feel like we, w w the movie is even more timely than we knew when we made it two summers ago. Yeah. You know, but Trump got elected a couple of weeks after we finished shooting and now all of this. So I just feel like it's out there and, and the movie's really resonating with people. And, 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 but it's um, always been going for a while. I mean, if, if you're Mexican, you know it's going on, <laughs> you know? You, you sense it. And may I say about, which I think is a, something that some of you will take in account, this movie was $19.5 million. And, and that's the scope we got out of it. You know, it's, it, it, was, it was a huge feat. To, because the ambition of the movie, the scope of the movie, the look of the movie, needed to be achieved by a, a third of the budget the movie needed. And that, that took its toll on our sanity. Your we sanity. borrowed some things yeah. from some people that, no, who may I or may not have known that we borrowed those things.